Good morning, Mr. Hardy. Ah, oh, good morning, Mr. Kenzie. I would like to see my general manager, Mr. Laurel. All right, Mr. Hardy. I was in the sample room. <laughs> Sit down. Take down my acceptance speech. Friends, fellow citizens, and, uh, and, uh, collegians, and so forth, and so forth, and so on. Uh, put that in brackets. City clean. City clean. Of all vice. 
Applause. <laughs> That'll open their eyes. <laughs> Just the same old apple cheek boy. Listen, close the door. Scram! After all these years, what is it you want? Ladies must live. No, sir. Not one penny. Not even a nickel. Not one kopeck. And furthermore... <laughs> get out. Get out! <laughs> well, how about it? You can't bluff me. That was in my gilded youth, my primrose days, before I was married. Doesn't mean a thing. You haven't changed a bit, baby. Why, this is preposterous and outrage. You can't get away with it. Oh, no. Oh, wouldn't that look grand on the front page? Oh, I can see the headlines now. Wronged woman comes out of the past to accuse leading citizen. Oh. And with you running for mayor? Perfect! Oh, Gabriel, blow your horn. Oh. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Hardy. It's a mistake. Get back to your desk and go to work. Listen, I'm a man of decisions, and I've made one. I'll meet you tonight at 7 and make a settlement, a final settlement. The mayor is himself at last. Now you're talking. Why, good morning, Mrs. Hardy. Hello, dear. By the way, how's your mother? Oh, she's just fine, thank you. That fine old mother. Hey, the wife. Oh! Darling. Hello, honey. I just dropped in there to tell you I'm giving a dinner party tonight at 7. I invited the judge and his wife and all those people that will be so helpful to you in your campaign. Well, you won't be able to go. You won't be able to go? Uh, uh, he means, dear, that we were working late tonight and uh, we, 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 well, I'll be right there. <laughs> yeah. And how is Mrs. Laurel? Oh, fine, thank you. I'd love to meet her sometime. Neither do I, too. Uh, uh, now, sweetheart, if you'll come, I'll open the door for you. <laughs> Why, Oliver? Merry Christmas, sweetheart. Christmas? But, Oliver, it's only July. 
Oh, I, I know it. it. It's one of the planks of my platform. Do your Christmas shopping early. <laughs> Just the same little apple cheek boy. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I must see how it looks. Oh. oh. Where's the key? Yes, where is the key? Oh. Oh, there it is. So it is. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah, yes, it is lovely now. Oh, Oliver, you're I'm such sure. a darling. Oh, isn't that... Now, dear, if you just go, it's pretty, very pretty. <laughs> you just run right along. Goodbye, Daddy, and don't forget seven. I oh. won't, dear. Goodbye. Say, what's the big idea? I'm sorry. I have another appointment. We'll have to call the whole thing off. Oh, is that so? Well, that's where I live. You be there at seven, or else... What about a fur? <laughs> yes, what about it? Well, what about it? Oh, well, that's just another little item we'll take up at seven. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, here's another nice mess I got you into. Yes, and you're gonna get me out of it. Here. Go over to her apartment and keep her entertained. I'll try to get there later. What about my wife? Call her up and tell her you're working. You don't know my wife. She wouldn't believe that. Well, if she was dumb enough to marry you, she'd believe anything. Come here. Far be it from me, Mrs. Laurel, to talk about anybody. But don't trust any man. Hmm. I've had five of them, and I know. Pardon me just a moment. Hello. Oh, hello, Stanley, dear. I won't be home for dinner, Mama. Who says so? Uh, Mr. Hardy. Very important business. Yeah. He's in a jam. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mrs. Laurel. Uh, this is Mr. Hardy. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's imperative, positively imperative, that Stanley works tonight. <laughs> Something to do with my campaign. Is that so? Well, I don't care anything about your campaign. Listen, you tell him for me that if he isn't home for dinner, I'll break his arm. Uh, thank you so much for your cooperation. Goodbye. There you are. Nothing to it. Did she say I could stay out? Why, certainly. And furthermore, she said that as long as you were with me, you could go as far as you liked. Now you go over to the apartment and keep this troublemaker in a good humor until I can get there. You know, get organized. <laughs> what are you going to do? I'm going to call and thank Mama. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Sit down. Oh, Marie, yes, sir. when you let him in, beat it. Won't you step in? Oh, Johnny on the spot. Promptly at seven. What are you doing here? Mr. Hardy sent me over. He told me to get organized. He what? He told me to keep you busy so you wouldn't annoy him. Oh. He's trying to put one over on me, is he? Where is he? He's home. Oh. Uh, what's his number? I won't tell you. Oh, you won't tell me, huh? No. Oh, yes, you will. Oh, no, I oh, won't. Oh, yes, you will. You can't bluff you me. You'll tell me his number and I won't. won't. You will tell me his no. number. No. What's his Absolutely number? Absolutely no. What is his number? Let it, 3648. Thank 
Thank you.